Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Suka. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment, um, share with your friends, do all the things. So today we are doing another eye cream comparison. This was actually requested by one of my subscribers. If you have ideas for videos that you want me to do, or if you want me to do a specific video, leave those ideas in the comments and maybe I will actually follow up, like today. So today we are going to be comparing the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm X Eye Cream, which I've done before, but today we're actually comparing it to the Shrevectin Hyperlift um, Eye Instant Eye Fix. So it looks like this, this is in the box. So we're gonna compare. I did in another video, I compared the uh, Peter Thomas Roth Eye, eye Cream with, a, with the It Cosmetics Eye Cream, under eye cream. So today we're gonna just compare Peter Thomas Roth another brand so let's start with what each product does so for the Peter Thomas Roth instant firm X eye temporary eye tightener it is a quick fix eye gel that visibly tightens firms and smoothens under eye bags fine lines and wrinkles for a temporary effect highlighted ingredients for this product is firm a tight which is a blend a blend of silicates and seaweed that quickly temporarily and visibly tightens Eyeless, which is a powerful peptide complex that addresses puffiness and wrinkles over time. And an eye regener, which is a potent alfalfa lupine complex that targets under eye bags over time. So <clears throat> what else you need to know is that this unique ophthalmologist um, tested formula rapidly provides temporary and long-term visibly age-defying results, tightening and firming the appearance of your delicate eye area while minimizing the look of crow's feet, fine lines, deep wrinkles, and under eye puffiness. So essentially, it is supposed to be a formula that acts really quickly um, to reduce the appearance of under eye bags, crow's feet, any fine lines, wrinkles um, in that eye region, but it's a temporary fix. This does not kind of reverse um, the appearance of these things. This is just something that would be acting temporarily to reduce the appearance of the crow's feet, etc. So that's kind of an introduction to the Peter Thomas Roth product. Let's look at what the Strevectin product does. In terms of the Strevectin Tighten and Lift Hyper Lift Eye Instant Eye Fix, um, that product is a temporary tightening treatment for the under eye area to immediately reduce bags, puffiness, crepey texture, and wrinkles. It's formulated with their like patented formula and a mineral tightening complex. And this leave-on formula blends into skin with no white residue, creating an invisible support system that lasts for hours. Okay, so they don't have any highlighted ingredients. I'm just reading it from shoppers. The thing that immediately stood out to me is that in that description, they highlight and emphasize that there is no white residue. So one of the issues I actually had with the Peter Thomas Roth product when I did a review for it a couple months ago was that it left a lot of white residue under my eyes, which I didn't love. So I'm excited to kind of test out the Peter Thomas Roth again with another product to see whether that statement about no white residue actually holds up for the Strevectin product. So that's some introduction to the product. The next thing we're gonna get into is price. So for the Peter Thomas Roth product, it is 52 Canadian dollars and you get you get 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce of product and it looks like this but because of how little product you would need for under your eyes i think that's actually a reasonable price for the amount that you get right so if it was like a hand lotion obviously that would be more pricey because it's a very small tube and in terms of the strevectin it is 56 canadian dollars and you get um 0.34 fluid ounces. So you actually get less product in the Strevectin than you would in the Peter Thomas Roth. Oh, let's open this up. So this is how tiny it is. So you get less product, but it costs more. So in terms of pricing, I'm gonna give it to Peter Thomas Roth because you get more for $4 less Canadian. So definitely for pricing, the Peter Thomas Roth wins. 
It's a clear winner. Uh, so the next thing would be appearance. Um, I think like I had mentioned that I liked the all black look for the first in my first review and I still do it's still a lot of writing though so I don't know if I would keep it on my counter um, for the Stravectin I think it's cute <laughs> I like how little it is it's just cute and I like the color yellow like it's a very cute look it just looks like a nice like I don't know it looks like almost like a part of your makeup skincare routine like this would stand out on my counter in terms of my other skincare products, but this would fit in. So I think in terms of appearance, I actually prefer the Stravectin. Looks like this. Um, and I like how it, it looks. Okay, um, so the next thing would just be kind of the application. So the Strabectin comes with this kind of pump in terms of how to apply the product, which I prefer. I prefer a nice pump because then you can just put the amount on your, your finger. And then this one, you have a tube and you squeeze the product out. I don't mind, but I do prefer the fact that there's a pump. Something about a pump just feels more convenient and easy in terms of application for me. Um, although like this, you could kind of like rub under your eye directly from the tube, but that's not the most sanitary thing to do. So it doesn't matter anyway. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do the smell test and then we're gonna actually put both products under the eyes. So this is the Strabectin. This is how it looks on my hand. I don't know if it's focusing. It's just like a clear product. And it has no smell. So that works. And then let's do the Peter Thomas Roth product. It's a little thicker, like the Peter Thomas Roth. This, the Strabectin is, lectin, is almost like leaking down from my, my finger. So definitely the Peter Thomas Roth is thicker in terms of the formula. Both have no smell, so that's good. Okay, so we are going to apply the product and see which one looks better. Um, I'm gonna zoom in here. So you can see under my eyes, um, I've said this before, but in terms of my under eye, I do not have very like severe or intensive like eye bags. Like you can clearly see I do have some and some dark circles under my eyes, but they're not very, they're not very visible from afar. When you zoom in like this, obviously they're more visible. Um, but yeah, so keep that in mind that even though I'm testing both, I, this is definitely not something that I struggle with. Um, yeah. Okay, so in terms of how to use the Peter Thomas Roth, you will need to clean your skin with a non-oily cleanser. So I've already done that. Avoid using eye cream. So I've, I actually haven't done any like skincare. I literally just wash my face and put on moisturizer and that's it. Then shake tube, squeeze a pea size amount on the top of your hand. Fingertips or a clean, dry makeup brush. Pick up a tiny amount of product and apply onto a completely dry area for best results. Using upward strokes, spread a thin layer onto under eye area, crow's feet, 11 lines between brows and beneath and above brow bone. <clears throat> Do not put on the movable eyelid, so you don't wanna like apply here. Let product dry for approximately five minutes while remaining expressionless. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna do it under this eye. So I've zoomed in as much as I can. I'm actually just gonna use a Q-tip because I just don't want the white residue on my fingers. So I'm gonna apply a small amount. So one of my subscribers under my other video actually said that this doesn't need to be like I don't need to put so much under my eye, but I'm still gonna do that. So I put a small amount of product under my eye. Okay. So I'm gonna put the timer on for five minutes. So yeah. I can't believe I believe everything.
been about five minutes so this is how it looks after five minutes like i had a line here and it just feels like it went up here like now i see a line here let me zoom way out so like you can definitely see that the line on this side is way deeper than this side so obviously the product worked that's tightening my under eye and kind of reducing the appearance of that like deep dark circle bags under my eye um, in terms of how it felt on my skin there was no burning it was not uncomfortable it felt like almost like it wasn't there which is amazing i don't want to feel burning or like discomfort or anything i want it to feel like nothing is actually happening um definitely you can see a difference i don't know how major just because again as i said i don't have very terrible under eye bags or anything like that um so that's how it looks after now we're gonna do the strovectin so in terms of applying the product you need to apply to clean moisturized skin remain expressionless while the formula dries you allow four to five minutes for the formula to dry and use sparingly to avoid leaving a white residue so also it says formula can be applied after makeup so i am going to apply it to my other eye so this eye has that amount under my eye okay zoom in so you can see me applying it nice honestly i don't even know if i need more product but i think it should be fine All right, we're gonna put the five minute timer on. all right everyone so it's been five minutes so this is what the strabectin looks like yeah it's like barely anything is and this one i would argue is my like tougher eye in terms of the product i mean in terms of my under eye bags and stuff I definitely think the Strevectin did a better job of tightening my under eye. Just like the Peter Thomas Roth, it was really comfortable. I didn't feel any pain. I could feel tight, like it literally tightening at some points. Um, and for the T Peter Thomas Roth, you can kind of see just like hints of the white residue here. So in the instructions for Peter Thomas Roth, it says to like wipe off any residue, but for the Strevectin, there is none period there is none so i would say like final thoughts i would say if you want to kind of save a bit of money then you can go with the peter thomas roth but honestly the strevectin is worth it like it's only four dollars canadian more than the peter thomas roth and i think it did a better job um so i would vote for the strevectin i actually think that it's better than the peter thomas roth product but you can let me know what you think in the comments um thank you for watching another video and i will see you next time bye